What happened? What went wrong? A coalescence disaster happened. Virus 6115 spread throughout Singapore and strains popped up all over the world. Governments built these quarantine zones to house the undead. A way for the populace to ignore what was happening. Ten years on, and it had worked. We put it out of mind. Ignorance was bliss. What was so special about this operation? It was supposed to be by the books. Five years after our cybernetic augmentations, Hendrix and I were a well-oiled machine. Quarantine sweeps, recon, search and rescue. It's just what dead killers do. But we'd never been sent after one of our own before. John Taylor's systems had gone quiet. With our direct neural interface, we're hardwired into Winslow Accord servers. Observation knew if you were dead or alive. For Taylor to be neither, that was unusual. We located an EMF source and uploaded it to Central. It was a 54 immortal audio log, detailing unusual activity coming from the server room at the lowest level of the building. It couldn't have been more than a week old, probably why Taylor's team had been sent to investigate. Hendrix activated a recon drone to scan for life. We picked up a signal coming from far below. As we stood there in the atrium, I felt like Alice, and we were about to jump down the rabbit hole. Our drone picked up activity ahead. We should have known we weren't alone down here. When man fled the virus, they left behind thousands of active robots. Machinery abandoned with one directive. Kill the dead. Years later, 
They're still killing. But with decrepit programming, somehow humans had been added to their kill list, indistinguishable from our brainless counterparts. The strange behavior was observed in multiple quarantine zones. Another nuisance for us to deal with while on recon. We moved on. We reached the silo's floor, but the signal came from lower still, below coalescence. <laughs> <laughs> 